penny stocks are garbage. I'm not gonna disagree with anybody there. But then the logic goes, because they're all garbage, they're all gonna fall in price. So shorting them makes a whole lot of sense. But is that really the case? Like the title of the video says, we are gonna talk about how to short penny stocks. But we are gonna take a little bit different approach to it. And this different way, this different approach Hopefully, if I do my job right, it's going to make a whole lot of sense after we fill out this chart. And you're going to say, oh, yeah, that, that does seem like the more logical way to go about shorting a penny stock, shorting something that's trading for pennies and thinking, you know what, I can make money off of that. So I fully realize, though, that the, the big marketing pitch out there, the big sales pitch that some people use is, hey, penny stocks are garbage. All penny stocks go down, therefore short them, and you're going to make a whole lot of money. It's a great strategy. And yeah, on the surface, that sounds fantastic. It's a great marketing strategy. It's a great sales pitch, but it always becomes, well, yeah, the, the, I, I fully agree. Penny stocks at some point, some point being the keyword, are gonna go down. But if you don't really get that point right, things can get really bad. And we're gonna talk about all that and show some actual proof of that. So, but there's an even better way. And the better way is when you start to compare risk versus reward. If you wanna have any sort of longevity in the markets as a trader, you should really be focused on risk. I fully realize that talking about reward, winners, making all this, that's the fun stuff. But from a serious perspective, from a professional standpoint, you need to be looking at risk. And more importantly, does the risk I'm taking, you know, does that, how does that match up with a potential reward? And that's what this chart is gonna help us with. So let's first just start looking at the traditional penny stock and actual stock. And we're gonna assume right here, the reward column, that you make an awesome trade, that you just, you know, boom, it is a grand slam trade, and you nail it. You absolutely just, it's your best trade ever. So if that happens on a penny stock, what is the best you can do on the, when you're shorting? The best you can do is make basically 99.9% .9 because you do have to cover at some point. So you basically double your money. Best case scenario, that is the absolute best you can do when you are shorting a stock or a penny stock, whatever you wanna call it, that's, that's just the best, right? Because the stock can only go down to zero. What about, the, actually, let's flip things up. Let's look at the reward of a penny option. Now, before you go freaking out, oh, options, I've, I've looked at those, they're way too complicated. I, don't I promise you they're not that complicated. If somebody, you know, explains them to you in the right way. I fully am aware and I, I agree that some people out there that explain options, they're just, I guess they wanna make themselves sound super smart, so they explain it in a way that it does. It does indeed make them sound super smart, but then the viewer's just like, what? But you get the right person, I promise, options are not nearly that complicated. So don't go running away, but yes, options have values that trade for pennies. But again, let's say you nail an options trade you were looking at a chart, you say, you know what, I think that chart's gonna go down, so now you're gonna use the, the options that are in market. Now, how this all works, you know, I'm not gonna get into that because this is not a how to trade options. I'm just conveying the overall philosophy of what options allow you to do. But like I said, you think a, you know, a chart is gonna go down, you nail it. The potential reward, unlimited. So I mean, it can literally be thousands upon thousands of percents. You know, if you don't believe me, then you can watch my penny stock on steroid video that I've done. I'll link that. And that's got a few charts that show this. But again, even if you don't believe that video, go ask somebody that trades options and say, hey, are, you know, are big wins possible? Like if I do a, just an awesome trade, could I gain hundreds and hundreds of percents? And they'll say, yeah, absolutely. Again, we're all, this is all based around shorting, but with stocks, the best you can do is 100%. Now let's flip over to the risk. And risk we're gonna define as stupid crazy because there's a couple of ways you know, that this can unfold. So we're, over here, we assumed an awesome trade. Here, we're gonna say a stupid trade. And if you've been trading along or trading you know, and been around long enough, you're gonna know that sometimes stupid just happens. I've done it, I'm sure you've done it, where for whatever reason, you just start breaking your rules and you get stubborn or you start listening, you get greedy. Something happens that you just turn into a freaking moron and it's something stupid. So it's a stupid trade, things go very bad because you're stupid. However, sometimes, even if you are disciplined, even if your strategy and your plan makes perfect sense, as we're gonna see here in a little bit, 
Sometimes things just get crazy down in the penny stock market and that's just the way it is. Even when things make sense, even when things are totally logical, it just gets crazy. So that's how we're gonna define our risk here. So in penny stocks, what is your risk in, in a very bad situation? Well, the risk is unlimited because a stock can go up and up and up. Hopefully I'm kind of stating the obvious there. It is totally unlimited. Now at some point you are gonna get a margin call. So your broker will step in and liquidate the position and they'll get you out of the trade. But by the time that happens, it can be very, very nasty. So in other words, when you're shorting a penny stock, best you can do, 100%. Worst you can do, a whole, you can lose a whole lot more than 100%. What about with the option market? Well, the way shorting works, again, I'm not gonna get into all the nooks and crannies of it, but the worst you can do is lose everything you put in. So if you put in $100, the worst you can do, if you think a stock's gonna go down, but the thing just explodes to the upside, the worst you can do is lose $100. If you put in $500, the worst you can do is you lose all $500. If you put in $50, the worst you can do is lose what? Hopefully you're saying $50, exactly. No, it's just what you put in. Whatever you put into the trade, that's what's at risk. When I say 100%, that just means all of it. All of whatever you put in. All of, actually I need to put this, what you put in. Because that is a very big differentiator. So if you put in $100, then that is the most you can lose. Whereas up here, if you put in $100, you can actually lose more than $100. So that's what's going on here. Now, you're probably saying, all right, Clay, you're being very overdramatic. Yeah, I get it. But I mean, come on. One of these, that, that barely ever happens. And you know what? You're right. I would be a total liar if I was sitting here saying that. And these, you know, these things happen all the time on a routine basis. But you know what? They do happen. And for those of you that have been around for a while, maybe you remember this good old ticker right here. KBIO. And there have been a lot of others, but this is one that I'm just gonna use for this example because it, it got pretty crazy. So what you see here on the screen is somebody that owed their broker $106,000, meaning that they had to go find the cash someplace else in their life. It wasn't, they didn't just lose everything in their broker, they owed $106,000. So let's take a look at this screenshot. Perhaps some of you that were around totally remember this because it got a lot of press but here's somebody that's saying they owe E-Trade $106,000 and they created a GoFundMe page, meaning, hey, can you help me raise the money because I literally not only blew up my account, lost it all, now I owe my broker $106,000. Like I said, it actually got pressed, so let's take a look at this next screenshot. So here is Business Insider, a very famous site, and you know this publication actually picked up on the story. So the headline here just states, a trader started a GoFundMe page to pay back $100,000 to E-Trade after a disastrous short. And if you want to read this article, I'll put that link, uh, you know, down below in the con or in the description section, and you can go and actually read this article and see all the details of how this trade actually happened. And then finally, just in case maybe you're thinking, yeah, right, yeah, right. Well, here is the guy's actual account statement showing where he lost the money. Like I said, he set up the GoFundMe account, so in order to justify that he wasn't just trying to scam people to give him money, you know, he had to show some sort of proof. So here is, like I said, his account statement, and you can see he owns he or he owes, I should say. Negative, when you see a negative in front of you know, your balance, that is not good. And when it's $106,000, that's even worse. So that's what this person owed after this whole you know, penny stock short unfolded against them. Like I said, if you want the details, click in the link down below that takes you to the Business Insider article. And I'm not trying to you know, bash this person or whatever because as the Business Insider article states, and if you remember KBIO, then you remember there was a whole lot of drama around it, the guy behind it, and it all made sense, but this is, the, this is where things can sometimes just happen. Crazy. The penny stock market can just flat out be crazy. And logical strategies, logical thought process that lead you to putting on a trade, yeah, that makes sense. It's trash, this, that, and the other. The stars seem to all be aligning. And then things can just get crazy and you can get in a very bad spot. Again, do Kate. KBIOs happen all the time? No, they do not happen all the time. But when they do happen, they hurt a lot of people. And you know, this person is just one. I, there's many other traders that got hurt. They just didn't exactly go so public with it. No, am I saying that everybody's gonna end up being down $100,000? 
I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, why are you taking that sort of just crazy risk? Crazy risk when the best you can possibly do is get 100%. And again, this implies that you do the flawless short trade. So you're never ever gonna get 100% on a short of a penny stock. But in all actuality, you know, let's say you get 75%. Really, you're risking totally blowing things up in a catastrophic way to get 75%. Whereas if you just use options to short, you can actually, with the way they work, make hundreds of percents. You can blow up your account in the good way, meaning it just keeps blowing up, blowing up, keeps growing and growing and growing because it's unlimited to the upside. Whereas if the worst case happens, if you get stupid or if just something crazy happens, you're just losing whatever you put in. Your broker, is, you're not gonna have a negative sign in your brokerage account like we saw in that screenshot where all of a sudden, not only is your entire account gone, but now you owe your broker that much more money. That's not gonna happen with the way options are set up, but it still allows you to, quote unquote, short penny stocks. But the way it works is just so much more favorable going back to risk versus reward. This is why, you know, some people are out there, oh Clay, you short penny stocks, you have a group that shorts penny stocks. The worst part about that is it insults my intelligence. I don't claim to be the smartest guy ever, but I do understand math. So if you think that I'm dumb enough to take on this amount of risk, unlimited risk, to make, you know, 100% in best case, I'm not, you know, I'm stupid in many areas of life. I've, I'm not a genius, but I'm not stupid in, to regard and see that math of, wait a second, unlimited risk for just a doubling of my money? No, I'll take the unlimited upside versus the limited downside. So, you know, just from that perspective, you know, if you're in the camp of, oh yeah, you short penny stocks. No, I, I don't because I, I just understand math. So this is how you can do it. You gotta get involved in penny options. Options trade pennies, and those pennies can become worth a lot more. Uh, so I would highly recommend, highly encourage you to you know, dig into options. I do offer an options course you know, if you're interested in that. Now before you go, oh Clay, I see now, you're just bashing penny stocks because you want me to buy this options course. Well, in my defense, I also offer a penny stock course. So by bashing penny stocks, it's not like I'm gaining anything because I offer both. So this is just, I guess, not even really an opinion. This is, this is fact of the matter, right? This is flat out math. And I, I mean, like I said, I don't wanna come across like an I know it all and say, well, this is just my opinion on the matter. I don't know, it's math. So it's almost a fact is why would you take on unlimited risk to do at best 100% when there's a choice out there where you could get unlimited upside for totally limited downside. This one just makes a whole lot more sense to me, but like I said, I'm not a genius, so I guess do whatever you want, uh, but please don't fall for the whole, it's a penny stock, they're all trash, they're all gonna go down. Yeah, a lot of times that happens, but all it takes is one or two times where either you get stupid or something crazy happens, and all those gains, because due to this unlimited risk, they could go, uh, they could go bye bye in a hurry. So uh, if you wanna learn more, like I said, offer a course on that, uh, on options, and hopefully that kind of at least opens your eyes. Whether or not you buy the course, at least now you know there is another choice out there available if you have a smaller account and you wanna to start to take advantage of prices when they fall that are down in the lower price range you know, of the market. So like I said, questions, you can leave those down in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please click that like button, check out the channel, and hopefully you decide to subscribe. So yes, you can short penny stocks, but short penny stocks smartly. I don't know if smartly is the right word, but I don't care. Try to stay down here. You'll, you'll be happier in the long run.